and welcome back to the crazy lady who's always talking about sunscreen. <laughs> Welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor here on YouTube. I am Danielle, and in today's video, we are gonna be talking about two tinted mineral sunscreens. Now, why might one be looking for a tinted mineral sunscreen? Well, studies have shown, and there's a video on it, so make sure you check it out for the full tea, but studies have shown that people with persistent pigmentation, if dark spots, melasma, you tend to do a little bit better with the mineral sunscreen, but when you add in iron oxides, which are pigments that, you know you could also find those in your makeup, like your foundations, your concealers, some of your lipsticks, that that is going to give you additional protection from visible light, which comes from the sun. It also comes from these devices that we're always on on our phones. The visible light, along with UVA, can worsen pigmentation. So that's why I'm the crazy lady is always telling you to wear your sunscreen. Anyway, keep watching. So Ken Lo is the brainchild of tennis superstar Naomi Osaka. And I only picked up the sunscreen because, you know, I ain't got a lot of time. It is a full line of products that are geared towards melanated skin. So this is $19.99 for two ounces of product. Not a bad price point, considering that a lot of mineral sunscreens are like 1.7 ounces and they're like 20, 30, you know, dollars. So not so bad on the price point. I know some people are probably like, dang, it needs to be a little bit lower than that, but I don't know. I don't know that side of the business when it comes to, you know, the price of sourcing materials and packaging and stuff like that. Maybe one day I will know, but for now, I, I just don't know that world. This is also water resistant up to 80 minutes. Information on some ingredient call outs. Kinlo products are non-nano, paraben free and cruelty free. We use sustainably sourced ingredients like squalane, jojoba, safflower oil, coconut oil, green tea, hemp seed, witch hazel, um, and then a couple of other things which I will link below for you to check out the full ingredient list. This also contains iron oxides like I talked about in the beginning of this video. It also claims to be mattifying, but we'll talk about that in a second. So when it comes to applying this, and this is true of many, 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 many mineral sunscreens, not just this one, just because of the nature of the way zinc oxide and, you know, if a formulation contains, also contains titanium dioxide, you wanna apply in thin layers until you have enough on your face. Now, enough on your face is equates to two milligrams per centimeter square of skin. Not everyone's gonna require the same amount of sunscreen because our bodies will take up different spaces and you know whatnot. So you, you could measure it if you want to, but for your face, neck, and ears, that equates to some, for some people, two to three finger lengths of sunscreen. Do not apply a big glop of this and expect for this to blend out nicely. You're gonna get your feelings hurt. You're gonna be mad. So the tin, if I if I remember my matte colors correctly, this is looking kind of like NW40-ish. Studio lighting in here. But it's looking a bit NW40-ish when it comes to the tint. This is actually a pretty deep tint for some of the tinted mineral sunscreens that I've seen. Years ago, I did some like light consulting work for a Korean skincare brand where they were trying to come out with a CC cream for deeper complexions and they showed me <laughs> They showed me the tints and I was like, oh, that won't do. Because titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are white pigments, when you try to add like color pigments to it, you know what happens when you mix white into another color. It gives it sort of like a gray undertone. It makes the color look lighter. And that's essentially what happens. Now, I'm assuming that they would go in and put uh, like maybe like a little yellow or a little red to kind of warm things up. I don't know that process, not yet at least. But that makes sense why some of these tinted mineral sunscreens can look so like, ooh. But I did find, although the tint is a little off for me, it looked a little bit better the more that I wore it throughout the day. The tint is not bad, it's not perfect either. And I also found that the finish to be quite satin. It wasn't the most dewy kind of finish on me, but it de I definitely didn't see any mattifying properties. And I used this on its own, so it's not like I had a moisturizer on underneath. I used this on its own, and I didn't find it to be very mattifying. Although, I Someone did comment on a community post when I was, you know, kind of previewing the sunscreens. Somebody did leave a comment saying that it was too mattifying for them. There's a lot of different factors that can go into whether or not the sunscreen is going to be right for you. It's shiny though. I, d I don't love a shiny finish for me, for my oily skin. I don't even like a shiny finish in the winter time. I just rather something just be like, like it can give like a nice natural sheen, but I don't want shiny, right? But you can put powder on top of this to take down some of the shine, you know, give the sunscreen 15 
minutes to do its thing to make that protective shield you can also like throughout the day touch this up with a mineral powder sunscreen that's normally how i touch up my makeup throughout the day I, the super goop has one i don't know about the peter thomas roth one y'all I, I haven't seen it in a while mum's the word i don't know what's happening but for now we have the super goop one that works pretty well and the day when i tried it like it's kind of mild here in new york it's been in the 70s I do think that this would probably not be a great option for my oily skin if it was much warmer out, which, you know, it can get that warm here. Now, one thing I do wish though, marketers and brands have in access to information that we don't have. Just because we want something doesn't necessarily mean that there's like this huge market for it, that the brand's gonna wanna take the risk, but there lacks a lot of like good mineral body sunscreens. This would actually make for a nice mineral body sunscreen because it's, it's got the tint to it. It didn't look too bad on the skin with the type of glow that I got from it. I think that looks amazing on my body skin because my body skin is drier than my facial skin. My facial skin is oily. My body skin tends to be, you know, on the dry side. I do hope that they come out with a bigger bottle of this so that you could use it on the body. There's, this is not to say that you can't use this on the body. It's just that economically it doesn't make sense because you get such a small amount of product that you'd be like finishing these off very quickly if you were to use them all over your body. That said, I did enjoy this tinted mineral sunscreen. Was it the best tinted mineral sunscreen I've tried? No. I think a lot of you guys would probably consider it more makeup than the one from Ilia, the this tinted serum that has uh, SPF, I think it's a SPF 40. I'll pop it up here on the screen and I'll link it below so you can get the full information on it as well as I've done a review and demo and everything on the Ilia uh, serum. It can, now a lot of people say, well, you know, makeup doesn't count. It can actually count if you use enough. If you use the two milligrams per centimeter square, about a two to three finger full, th then it can count. The only thing is that I personally wouldn't put, I don't like putting tinted products on my neck or my chest because then it just gets everywhere and I would just rather use like a body sunscreen for those areas, but it can count. That Ilia one, I felt like it had a nice range. It blended nicely into the skin and that one would be one of my favorite tinted mineral ones. But then I've also tried some that were okay and for more info on that, make sure you check out my Mineral Sunscreen for Darker Skin playlist. All right, next up, the Dr. Dennis Gross Instant Radiant Sun Defense Sunscreen SPF 40 with sheer color correction technology and Oh my God, you know how many brands have we heard say that they have color correcting technology that steered us wrong? This is 1.7 ounces of product. It's going to run you 42 bucks. I got this in the medium to deep shade and this was sent to me in PR. So the tint on this is not as deep as the Kinlo. This one I would say is more like a, like a NW35, like my Mac people, let me know. <laughs> wasn't It wasn't too bad. It wasn't the best tint on my skin. The Kinlo was definitely better looking than the Dr. Dennis Gross in terms of tint. This also has some really cool like radiating properties to it that I didn't notice on my face, but I noticed it when I put this on my body. This is another one where I'm like, y'all tripping, y'all need to make a bigger bottle so that people can use this on their bodies because the it has like these gold shimmery sparkles in it. Not anything that's like overwhelming where it looks like, you know, like you, an overgrown woman shopping at Claire's, but, but it's really nice, especially on the body. Finish on this one is very satin and shiny. Even after letting it settle for a few minutes, it was still really shiny. And throughout the day, like that shine just kept building up, building up. N you know, not my, not my first pick for my oily skin. You could put powder on top of it if you have oily skin so that it doesn't look as shiny. If you have dry skin, you might like this. You might like both of them, uh, but during certain times of the year, you might need to wear a moisturizer underneath. You just kind of play around and see what works in your routine and what works for the environment and the climate near you. I do think this is a nice sunscreen though for people who want to wear mineral, but who also want like the nice aesthetic with it. If your complexion is lighter than mine and this is a better tint for you, then this is probably gonna be amazing for you if you also don't mind spending the $42. If you're about my complexion or deeper, you may need to put some makeup on top of it so that you know the tint kind of settles in a little bit better but some people don't mind doing all of that stuff so you know you got options out there and i'm here to bring you the options you probably gonna need to double cleanse to remove both of these tinted mineral sunscreens effectively basically maybe an oil-based cleanser 
to remove the mineral sunscreen and then follow that up with a gentle cleanser. Zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are pigments and then these have iron oxides in them as well, which are also pigments. So it's almost like trying to remove makeup like with just like a regular cleanser. So, you know, think of that when you're trying to remove your, your mineral sunscreen. Now, could brands make a line of mineral sunscreens that are tinted in different shades? Yes, of course they could. Uh, Supergoop has one. I mean, the, the shades can be tinted a little bit more, but Supergoop does have a shade, a line of tinted mineral sunscreens that come in different shades. Now, would that be a good business decision? Maybe not. I, I definitely understand like the frustrations that the, you guys who watch these mineral sunscreen videos have and trying to find a good mineral sunscreen for yourselves. Uh, but I also understand like the market and the like demand for it. There are a lot of people out there who still believe that black people don't need to wear sunscreen. And when the black people are wearing sunscreen, a lot of people aren't fooling with these mineral sunscreens because they can be pretty difficult and people just don't have the patience like some of you guys do, you know? So have you tried any of these tinted mineral sunscreens? Let me know in the comments. If you're looking for more tinted mineral sunscreen reviews on darker skin, definitely check out my mineral sunscreen for darker skin playlist, so aptly titled. There are some videos in there with tinted mineral sunscreens and some that are dedicated to just tinted mineral sunscreens. And if you're ever wondering, wow, I wonder if Danielle has done a review on XYZ sunscreen, what you can do, because a lot of y'all be asking me in my comments and my DMs and whatnot, what you can do is just go in the search engine on YouTube or even Google and put Style and Beauty Doctor and the name of the product, press that enter button and it'll pop up if I have tried it. Make sure you follow me on social, that information will be linked in the description box. And I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.